First in Alaska, this is the KTVA 11 Evening News. The state law awarding survivor benefits to the spouses of people killed at work faces a challenge in court. As KTV 11's Bonnie Bowman tells us, the challenger says it discriminates against gay couples. Bonnie. Joe and Emily, Deborah Harris knows what it's like to lose everything. She says the state treated her like a stranger when her longtime partner was murdered. Now she's challenging the law awarding survivor benefits in state Supreme Court. On October 29, 2011, a disgruntled former employee walked into the Millennium Hotel and shot Carrie Fadley to death. Her partner of more than a decade, Deborah Harris, was left alone. She disappeared and everything in my life disappeared after that. Harris filed for survivor benefits, but because she and Fadley weren't married, she was denied. Harris lost her home and her possessions along with the woman she loved. It's been you know, three years now, and I still don't have a home. Not really. Harris and Lambda Legal are challenging state law, which awards survivor benefits to spouses only. The hotel and the insurance company have refused to provide Ms. Harris the same death benefits that it would provide to a heterosexual spouse. And the real cause of the problem here is state law. State law absolutely discriminates against loving, committed, same-sex couples. Staff attorney Peter Wren says Harris and Fadley would have married if they could, but Alaska has a same-sex marriage ban. The two wore rings and referred to each other as spouses, but weren't in the eyes of the law. You don't really know how important the protections of marriage are until you're in a dire situation where you need them. Harris says she doesn't want anyone else to suffer like she did. That's why this case is so important. I think it's a great opportunity for Alaska to shine and to land on the right side of history. Now the case names Millennium Hotel as the defendant because that's where Fadley worked when she died, but the legal challenge is against state law. Now we reached out to hotel management for comment but didn't hear back. If the court finds in Harris's favor, Millennium may be ordered to pay her benefits. Emily? All right, thanks, Bonnie.